Hey everybody, so behind me are some very special CRT monitors. These are PC monitors. Now everybody in the world knows about the Sony GDM FW900. That is this amazing widescreen PC CRT. But today we're not talking about the FW900. Check this out. This is a Dell P1130 and it is actually a Trinitron. Uh, now the only big downfall about this PC CRT is it is in a hideous Dell shell. <laughs> like the actual casing for this monitor is aesthetically uh, ugly. Nothing like the Sony uh, versions of this monitor. However, it does have that same amazing performance as the GDM 520 series. So this is a very special CRT, even though it's in four by three aspect ratio, it's still worth a quick look at it. And before we look at the CRT in action, we're gonna take a look at the hardware in the back of the monitor. All right, this is the back of the CRT. We need to get under this shell and shielding uh, before we can really see what's going on in here. And uh, then we'll take a closer look at the inside but let me remove this shielding all right let's check out the inside back here under all the shielding and first off here's our high voltage point with our anode cap so you don't really want to mess around with this spot but sony did make bleeder resistors in there so most likely there's no charge in that but we're not going to be discharging this one i want to point out some important things on this monitor first off like i said this is our tube right here it's a Sony Trinitron tube, the M50LRB15X. And one thing to note up here is there's a manufacturer's B sticker on the back of this tube. Now I tried to find out more information about this B marking and it appears Sony had a B coat that they would put on the back of the CRT. And I really couldn't find any more information other than this uh, advertisement for a replacement tube marking that it had the B coating on the tube. Uh, just some more markings down here showing you that it was made in Japan by Sony. And there's our model number. If we look around here, we could get a better look at our inputs, which this just has two VGA inputs. And then here's our power input right there. So this is a connection point where you can connect an old PC to this and actually do Windows for further adjustments on these older Trinitron sets. Here's just a close look at the deflection yoke. It's a very nice yoke. A lot of good controls on there and uh, a lot of copper in there to help the magnetism. Tiny little neck board and then if we look down in there the majority of the hardware is down here at the bottom on a single board similar to a PVM or even a more uh, high-end consumer set but you'll notice there's no power supply outside of the main block that's all on the main block too so that's all built into this main board and then here is our flyback transformer which goes out and has a connection to our neck board and then up there to our anode now this set doesn't look to need a lot of maintenance right now and the owner really just wanted it cleaned out and checked out and make sure that nothing was obviously failing or leaking in it. So we've got it all cleaned up. So one of the best things about this CRT is you can just grab an awesome console like the Sega Dreamcast, get a VGA cable for it, and you have a plug and play solution just to plug right into this monitor and this style of monitor and use it. And I wanna show you a little bit about the menu on here, this is the menu button. It's pretty easy to navigate through. We have plus and minus, up, down, and then access to the menu. And this is just the input button. So just pressing it switches between the two inputs that are available. And if we look in this menu right here, this is where we're gonna get to do a lot of things, like adjust obviously our screen brightness and contrast. But if we go down in this menu to this screen, that is where we can get inside there and actually adjust our screen size and our geometry. So going over there, we'll adjust the centerness, up and down, up and down centerness, and then right below that, we can adjust our pin settings. So this is a 480p image you're seeing right now on the screen, and it looks fantastic. Okay, we've loaded up our Dreamcast version of the 240p test suite. 
from Artemio. This is a great software that will allow us to check everything we want for the most part um, with the Dreamcast as well as this monitor. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. Screen geometry. Now you could adjust convergence even further in here and focus uh, with that software. None of this is really adjusted via potentiometers. Um, all the deep adjustments on this are done through Windows, the software, but just from a starting point, this monitor looks spectacular. This is our color splash screen, so the colors are pretty even. You could maybe increase red and blue a little bit more if you wanted to have it completely level. Um, this is, again, more calibration you should be doing with tools like Windows. Not stuff we're doing here. We're just taking, again, a quick look and making sure this thing is ready to be used and doesn't have any immediate issues. All right, let's get a little Gunlord action in here. Just check out 480p, uh, again on the Sega Dreamcast. You really do get some nice definition on those 480p scan lines right there in the picture, but it's just really breathtaking. We're starting with a resolution of 640 by 480, but this monitor will go all the way up to 2048 by 1536 for the maximum resolution. The native resolution is 1280 by 1024. You get a vertical scan range of 48 to 170 hertz, and then a horizontal scan range from 30 kilohertz up to 130 kilohertz does have a 21 inch Trinitron display and it is a flat display simply meaning that the front of the tube is flat glass all right I know that was a really quick look at this Dell monitor and there's a lot of great things you could do with this because you still have VGA inputs so you could uh, connect different adapters in there you could hook a mister directly to this monitor or even some of the scalar devices and just really get the most out of a CRT like this. And usually you can find these for a much better deal than the BVM and PVM uh, counterparts or even a Sony uh, PC CRT that is labeled Sony will get much more attention than something that's sold by Dell. So again, that's just a quick look at this Dell PC CRT, the P1130. This is probably one of the top models they have available out there still. So it was made in the early 2000s. Keep an eye out for it and let me know what kind of PC CRTs are you guys getting a lot of enjoyment out of this year in the comment section below. I love to know what you guys are using, uh, but that's going to do it for today. I will see you all next time with some more retro content.